Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're headed into the Shepherd Center Thrift Store in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Going in here to thrift for purses and jewelry for resale on YouTube and eBay. You can find my purses on eBay at ebay.com forward slash USR forward slash Costume Jeweler. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos and when I have my live buy it now and auctions. Those are usually pop up, so definitely hit that notification bell. Most importantly, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So let's go in here and see if we can find anything for resale. So I'm gonna show you here, 50% off today. I have had some luck finding great purses and jewelry in here. I don't come in here often, so it's gonna be, it's like every few months that I go in here and thrift. So we're gonna go in here and check out and see what we got. So you can see it's a pretty big store with lots of stuff. So we'll look around at a little bit of everything because it's been some time since I've been in here. Look at this beautiful dining set that someone painted. A lot of great detail in this dining table. I love this a lot. I don't care for the table, but I love the chairs. Look at that jewelry box there. That's awesome. I'm gonna get a cart. So everything today is half off. Let's look at this. I don't even resell stuff like this, but I think it's great. Probably could resell something like this. I don't know how much it is. Twenty-four, so it's twelve fifty. So this is a wall hanging. Look how pretty this is. The detail in the painting. So they have lots of jewelry. We're gonna take a look at that in detail. First, I wanted to look at this jewelry box right here. So look how pretty this is. So this is $10. So it's half off today, half off everything. Look how pretty that jewelry box is. That'd be a good idea. You could buy this and auction it off with some jewelry in it. So this store will have a little bit of everything in here. I do love this store. No guarantees that we're gonna find something every time, but look at this piece right here, guys. Look how beautiful this is. I may get that one. This pendant's nice also. So these are the more expensive pieces of jewelry. So there you have a rhinestone and earring set. You too, 
I don't know what kind of pendant this is right here, but look at this. That's really pretty. I'll take a look at that one. You ready to ring it up? I think my wife is ready. Oh, yeah. When you ready to jet? Yeah. Be able to oh, we're going. Over there. So this does not have a price on it, so I don't know how much it is. That is really pretty. This was half off, right? We're going to go the Not sure what that gold chain is there in the back. Looking for that treasure, guys. They have lots of jewelry here. Now these earrings right here in the center are different. Not even sure what those are, but we're going to take a look at those up close. Look at these big necklaces. So, is this true African amber right here, guys? Look at this. I don't know. I really like this one right here, especially if it's stone. I don't know if it's stone or not. 
We're going to check that one out. That's huge. And you have pearl there. I'm not sure if these are stone or not, but we're going to check that out up close too. I, could, I really like that one a lot. I really love this right here. So I'm going to show you the jewelry and then I'm going to pick out a few pieces. So this is acrylic. This right here, I don't know if this is bone. Made in India. Never seen any beads like these before. So it looks like it's all made out of wood. I love these. So I think I'm gonna get these earrings. See if we can look at the detail up close. Those are awesome. So let's look on the back and see if there's any markings. There are not any markings still a great piece I think we're gonna get it I'll get that with that. And then I didn't see a price on this one. Oh, or this bar. one is $7.99 or $8.99. I price all the purses, so I know. Yeah, it's on the bottom of the. So this is a great yeah. stretch oh, stretch belt. Well, great. I'm going to get that one too. Yeah, okay. And then these are on the rack, and then I'm just going to try to dress them. She should be banned. She should be banned from here. We've had her in terrible altercations. She's bought like silverware, maybe 55 pieces.
So look at this. So this necklace, I'm curious. Well, I guess that piece is with it right there in the center. Now that's unique. I like that. Makes it a little bit different. I thought these were tiger eye at first, but they're not. It's beads. And then look at this red, white, and blue piece right here. That's a Monet. That is Monet. And then look at this one. I'm probably going to take a look at this. I love this one. Look. The flower. That is beautiful. Yeah, you have to meet her. She makes it a case against you. You have to meet her. You have to meet her. She wants a new post so this is missing a rhinestone right here but I'm trying to debate on whether or not look at that little ladybug I think this is worth getting still you can replace the rhinestone So it's a rope chain, but this is a beautiful pendant necklace. I like that a lot. So I am going to get that one. I'm going to take this. One. Yes, please. Thank you. Look at this tiger eye. Now, this is a cute one, also. So, look at this one. So lots of different beads and it cascades, cascades down. You can see right here. May check that one out. I like this one a lot. This is one that I'm going to be getting for sure. I love it. Maybe I'll have a sale tonight again and you'll see that on the sale. I don't know. I don't know, but I might. See all of this jewelry, guys? Look at all that. There is lots of jewelry at this store. So this is a necklace, earring, bracelet set.
This one's pretty nice too. If they're glass. They also have lots of purses, guys, and look at this. Okay. Look at this one. It's Radley. Look at this, guys. One of the best-looking Radley purses I have seen. Wow, beautiful. So I think I'm going to get this one also. That is like new condition. See, so yeah, there's a beautiful Radley purse from London. And then look at this vintage coach, guys. Look at this. So it's like a navy blue crossbody. And guys, guess what? This is not even Coach. It looked like Coach. But it's not. It's Croft and Borrow. Let's look at the inside of this. Now, this is a shocker. Croft and Borrow, and I really thought that that was Coach. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Who would have thunk it? Edie and This is a pretty bag. Let me see. I don't know how much it is, but it's really pretty. Great condition. Never seen one like that. So they told me I could just walk back here and look at them. I really thought that Croft and Barrow was a coach. I was calling it a coach till I looked at the tag. Wow. This is a coach, guys. Now I've seen never seen a coach like this. So this is a vintage coach. Yes, I do. It's a shoulder bag or handbag. What is this bag? The black one? Yes, please. Yeah, I was really shocked that that Croft and Barrow was not a coach. I did not know that Croft and Barrow made purses that looked like they were similar to coach.
This looks vintage, very pretty. So I think I'm gonna get that one. Scanning for goods, guys. Scanning for product. Some beautiful necklaces to resell on eBay and YouTube. This bolo tie that's a camera. Yeah, but I don't know. Brandon, can you take a break and help this man take the cable? Now I like this necklace a lot. Look at this one, guys. This is interesting for sure. Look at this. Now I love that one. And guess what? It's gonna go home with CJ. Love, 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 love that. And look at this one. This is made out of wood. It looks like faces. I love that one too. Very unique. I'm gonna take that one. And then look at this crown back here. And I really like this one also. Look at this. I love that one. Yeah, sorry. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> I'm here every day they're open except Thursday. Yeah, I'm planning on taking one as soon as I get home. <laughs> what is the writing on that? I don't know what that is. I think I'll pass on this one just because it's missing about five stones. This looks like pewter. It's by Express. Now we're gonna look through all of these brooches. Maybe not all of them, but most of them, just to see if there's anti anything that we cannot live without. These are earrings. Look how beautiful these are. So a great designer probably made these, but they're not marked. So it's one of those unsigned beauties, as we say. Look at that. I don't know how much those are, but we may see what the price of those are. Those are just super great. So I said brooches. These are probably mainly earrings.
And I am going to look through each one of these just because you never know what you're going to find. Just like that thrift store, you never know thrift. I don't know how much these are, but look at these. OMG, look at these guys. Just watch how they... So a peacock feather with beads strung on each feather. Look at that. I'm going to zoom in for that. Now those I'm interested in. They don't have a price on them. Those are so great. I'm going to zoom in on that. Look at that. I love those. Monet earrings. Look like coral, not sure. Is that a hot air balloon? It is not. Where are those glasses at when I need them? Where are those glasses when I need them? This is a lot of earrings. A lot of earrings. Now look at these. Let's see what these are. these I'm not gonna pull all of these out of the plastic to show you guys but if there's something that I'm interested in I usually take it out of the plastic so I can see it up close oh now these are interesting look how interesting these are I love these Zoom in real quick. Hmm. Let's see. These are pretty, and they're pierced. So this is the only thrift store I'm going to today. I may have another sale tonight. I don't know if I will or not. 
Never know about the costume jeweler. He could have a sale at any time. That's why it's important to hit that notification bell. So that way, guys, you know when I'm having another sale. So here is that other earring that we saw a few minutes ago. Okay. What are these? Yes, I know earrings, but we're going to take a look at those. This is a three piece, not three piece, but it's a. Three different dimensional things going on there. And guys, I'm getting these clip on earrings. I have no idea what type of stone that is, but you can see the different cuts. So let me show you these are clip on. Let's see if you can see the different cuts in the stone. Now you could make those into pierced earrings easily. So let me zoom in, see if we can see the cuts on that. There you go. I'm trying to get the light to shine on it. These are not marked, and that's okay. It's again another unsigned beauty. So we are getting that. Let me zoom in on that real quick before I give it to the clerk. So you guys comment below and let me know what stone that is. I love these. So we're coming out with some great earrings. So I got these. I'm gonna go ahead and get these funky, funky fellers right here. So that's in plastic, just so you know, so you can't see it really up close, but in the video, you got to see it. I'm getting these and these peacock. I really wanna take a look at this necklace here. I'm not sure, looks like a choker. So it's this one right here in the center. It's a bunch of rhinestones, but I think that might be a choker. Me? So we're going to look around at the store now, guys, at some other stuff, just to see what they've got in here. So we've looked at purses and jewelry. They're going to have some more purses in the very back, so we'll take a look at those as well. the vintage pepper grinder salt grinder pepper grinder I wonder how much that is because I would definitely put that in my kitchen we may have to check that out so that's $30 so half off it's gonna be 15 Kissing fish. So those are salt and pepper shakers, guys. Look at this. The kissing fish. 
salt and pepper shakers. Aren't those adorable? Oh wow, look at these. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this wooden one out right here and show you guys the detail on the artwork. So guys, look at the detail in this mirror. So I usually take these and hang them up on the wall in a series. You know, just get lots of them and hang them up on a wall and make one big mirror out of a lot of little mini mirrors. But look at the back. <laughs> That's ten dollars. I love that. West Germany. We're going to look around at the what naughty stuff, guys. <laughs> Let's look at this what naughty, what naughty. So I know there's a lot of you guys that don't either have thrift stores that are good near you or you've got reasons that you can't get out of your house. So I hope that you guys feel like you're thrifting with me when we're hanging out like this. I love mirrors. This is solid wood. I love the detail of the mirror. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's little. It's a little mirror. I don't need it, but I'm getting it. Carat electro plate. This is International Silver Company. I'm really tickled about this mirror, though. I do have a mirror wall in my house, and it's just a lot of big and small mirrors, and it's in my dining room, and I really love mirror walls. Definitely vintage. The writing looks vintage, and look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. $15. Oh 
50 cents. So with these old dominoes, you can use them for decorative purposes. You can put them on frames. They're not all here, but you can put them on frames. I may use these for my Halloween hat this year. I think that would be a great idea for Halloween hat to incorporate a few old dominoes. So these are by Halsum, and they're 50 cents. And you know what? This might be a good idea at Halloween too. Maybe take some of these old chess pieces like this. I always usually get a top hat at Halloween. I decorate it up with jewelry and other items. So I think I just found some great stuff to work with. So we are going to do that, guys. We're going to get these old plastic chess pieces. Not sure if they have a date. But it's also by Hawesome, the same ones that made these dominoes. But they do look old, so I'm going to get those and use those decorated top hat. And guys, I've just thought of this, but these are canasta cards. And you know what I'm going to do with these? I'm going to buy them so that when I send out jewelry to people, so you heard it here first, when I send out jewelry to people, I'm going to just send them a thank you card that's one of these cards here. I think that's an excellent idea. I can also use these to decorate top hats as well. So now, in addition to you getting a popcorn in your when you buy from me in your gift bag. I'm gonna just take these cards like this and sign thank you, CJ, CC and Popcorn, and send these cards to you guys with your jewelry. I think that's a great idea, I love that. They're all so different. I've never played the game Pile, Pile It, but I like this idea. And also these rummy cards, guys. I love this idea. So I'm going to start just sending you guys thank you cards. And it's going to be a card with thank you, CJ, CC, and popcorn on it. That is super cool. Love, 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 love that. So, 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 so much. That is an awesome idea. Wow, wow, wow. Instead of buying my own cards and just make them like this it's more interesting so when you guys get your goodies in the mail let me know and comment below that you received a little thank you card from me I've got to go get a basket real quick before I drop all of this so this is all my fun stuff so far and so I had to get a basket I had to get a basket because what are these? So is that, I don't know what that is. If it's a perfume bottle holder with, looks like you could put business cards in there. This is two dollars and fifty cents. Two dollars and fifty cents. Norman Rockwell self portrait. I love the idea of using all those cards. So yeah, when you guys get your beautiful jewelry in the mail from me, I will sign one of those fun cards. CJ, CC, and Popcorn and send that to you. I love that idea of using those as a fun little ceramic. This is ceramic, no face though, isn't that odd? And a broken ribbon. So as you can see, there is lots and lots and lots. Oh, look at these. I don't sell the Watt Nighty stuff, guys, and you know, but look how cute these are. These are napkin holders. Oh my gosh. 
they're taped up or I would take them out and show you but look how beautiful those are I am getting those and I may sell some of this stuff on some of my jewelry sales who knows I may pull out something like this and just include it in the sale look at the detail of that colorful fish so yeah napkin napkin rings Wow So this is my only thrift store today. It's Saturday, beautiful Saturday. Gonna go to the gym and work out after this. But I will upload this video for today so you guys can see what I'm out doing. If I'm not having a jewelry sale, I'm thrifting to post great content for you guys. And again, I know a lot of you guys aren't able to get out and thrift for various reasons, or you may not have thrift stores in your community. So I hope that when you guys watch my thrifting episodes that you do know that you are thrifting right next to me so what I'm seeing is what you're seeing And I don't really need these, but I really do want to resell these. I think they're cute. Very fun. So here are some more purses. We're going to check these out. I don't know if this is Brighton or not. We'll look inside and see. It is not Brighton, but when you look at the hardware, you wonder... I wonder what this is. See what this is. This is a no name purse, but it is great condition. We are going to pass on it. It's a little bit dark over here. So when I've been here before, they've had more purses than this. So we're gonna look over here at some more purses. Some Motolux purse. Let's see if this is leather. It is not leather. And I won't do a recap at the end, guys. Um, I bought lots of jewelry. Well, quite a few pieces of jewelry. I don't know if it's lots of jewelry. Raina Rich. But I quite, bought quite a few pieces of jewelry. Looks like a vintage bag. I did sell a vintage bag online. At least somebody wrote me about it. I need to make sure I respond to them today to make sure they know how much it is in case they want to buy it so I can ship it out. So I do like to thrift some vintage bags also in addition to all of the jewelry just never know what i'm gonna have i never know what i'm gonna have i never know what i'm gonna find i just never know never know that's right never know never know what we're gonna find life is beautiful purse here's a few more wallets this is not new
Shops Ralph Lauren. We had a real fun sale last night. We did a lot of new things. This is genuine leather. I always hope that I find an interesting men's wallet. A man's wallet. But I usually don't find much men's stuff. I guess men don't get rid of their stuff as much. Um, as far as wallets. So guys, that's it. That's it. So I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go pick up my jewelry that I have. Please hit that subscription bell. Please hit that notification bell so you know when I post new lives and new buy it now sales and videos. And most importantly, hit that subscription, subscription, subscription. Thank you so much. Hit a thumbs up for this video. And until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next live or the next video. Happy thrifting.